All right, we got a quick one for you today. And this is just something that, that kind of bugs me. We see this over and over and over again in, uh, in, in cartoons and comics and, you know, movies and stuff, and especially in anime, you know, more than anything. We see these characters doing crazy feats of strength and, you know, whatever, superpowers, whatever, right? But the thing is that when they're shown to be doing training, uh, what, what we end up seeing is them always counting out these insanely high numbers uh, of, of repetitions for whatever it is that they're doing. And this is a clear tip off uh, that the writers don't actually know anything about exercise science, like nothing, like not even the glossy magazine stuff. So let's get something clear about reps, right? Okay, everybody involved Anybody that's been going to the gym for more than a few months kind of knows, you know, do your strength work kind of in the, you know, three to five reps range, do your hypertrophy work in the eight to 12 range, uh, you know, and they should be hard set. So you should be pushing near failure. And everybody kind of has heard those sound bites, right? When we get that, there's a reason though, those, those things kind of work consistently. Well, the, the cool thing is that there, there is a little bit of research out there, uh, on the, the super high rep side of things. And now this is talking specifically about strength and hypertrophy. We're not talking about endurance training here, right? Endurance training is a different thing and we, we can deal with that another time. But if you're talking about strength and hypertrophy, right? If you were talking about actually gaining muscle size, physique and performance uh, out of your training, then you have to understand a couple of things here, right? So there's at least a study by Brad Schoenfeld, and I think there might be a couple more. I'll throw some links, uh, you know, in the description. But anything below 20% of your one rep max is not going to reliably stimulate hypertrophy, much less strength adaptations, right? Because strength has the like neuromuscular skill component, and that's definitely not enough weight to do that, even pushing it all the way to failure, right? So greater than 20%, which people kind of estimate is gonna be kind of somewhere between 30 and 40 reps um, on the high end, right? Now, is there really any reason ever to go 30 or 40 reps on anything? Yeah, not, not, not really. Uh, it's definitely suboptimal training, but what they're saying is that you can still elicit some kind of response even up there, but not much past that. And then the stimulus to fatigue ratio might not be great there either. Um, and that is assuming that you're pushing reasonably near, near failure. Now near failure, most time people will say like one to three reps left in the tank. Um, we can even include zero to three reps or a training to failure may be occasionally okay. Um, it, it, in fact, I would even say it's occasionally necessary because you do want to know where your ceiling is. But, um, but again, the, there's no reliable difference. Um, between stopping one or two reps shy of failure and actually going to failure, but there's a huge uh, cost in, in, in fatigue and stress uh, for your recovery time, right? So there you, you have it already. You don't wanna be doing sets of say more than 40 and that's probably inappropriate for a lot of people. Now, the reason there's a range there, of course, is the fact that people are different. And once you start getting into those more endurance kind of ranges, different people's muscle fiber composition and energy system, uh, you know, development and all that is going to influence how much they can actually do. Um, and then also guys like Dr. Mike Isertel have talked about maximum recoverable volume and, and different people have different ideas on this, but the idea of maximum recoverable volume is that pretty much everybody, depending on muscle group is going to max out somewhere between 25 and 30 hard sets per week. 25 to 30 hard sets per week is still a lot, right? I mean, that, like if you're working out three days a week, that would be 10 sets per day. And that's still only per muscle group, right? That's not, that's not even dealing with like a whole body, right? So, I mean, that, it's still, that's a lot of work. Um, and most of the time you're not training at your maximum recoverable volume, right? Cause you're not gonna be able to sustain that for very long. Um, you know, so most of the time you're gonna be training under that, but if you have your bottom limit for 
weight and you have your top limit for hard sets per week, then we can do that out just using the big numbers, right? And that gives you 1200 reps, right? So kind of as a maximum, you could do 1200 reps in a week. That's not in a session, in a week per muscle group and still get some kind of, of beneficial improvement, you know, ad adaptive response out of it. Uh, and that's required that it's hard sets. And again, hard sets being defined as, as pushing kind of near failure. Um, for strength work, you can stay a little further from failure. For hypertrophy, you need to get closer to failure. And it's just the way it goes. Um, but 1,200 reps per week. And yet in, in some of these, the, 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 these, these fantasy workouts, you see guys doing 900 reps in a single workout. Uh, or, you know, sometimes they get stupid insane, you know, 10,000 reps or whatever. There's absolutely no reason for it. Doing ultra high repetitions is, is not very useful, right? Like even on, even the high rep guys, you know, on kind of more the bodybuilding and physique side of things generally aren't going above 20 reps too often, um, you know, per, per set. And a lot of that is just because like, the weight, the actual mechanical tension is, is, I mean, mechanical tension is the number one driver. And it's, it's hard to do that as the weight gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So having a reasonable amount of weight, having a reasonable amount of reps, and then paying attention to your stimulus to fatigue ratio is going to be really, really important. So look, just because Goku does something or Rocky does something or whatever, doesn't mean that you should be doing that. In fact, almost certainly you probably shouldn't because those workouts were not written by somebody who's actually involved and invested in the exercise world. So keep that in mind, right? Ultra high reps is not particularly useful. And again, you know, we can talk about endurance another time, uh, but that's totally not what we're talking about here. And that's not at all what they're trying to show in those workouts. So I'm going to cut my rant off here. But please, please understand, right? Honestly, if you hit, if you hit 30 reps on an exercise, you need to up the weight. The, there's not going to be enough benefit over the long haul, you know, to make that useful to you, right? And if you're, if you're one of those people that really just prefers bodyweight exercise, which is totally fine, you can do a lot with bodyweight exercise. If you can do 30 reps on something, find a new variation that's a little bit harder and work your way up onto that, right? I mean, and at some point you're probably gonna hit maintenance or at some point you're gonna decide that you need to do something else and that's fine. But the fact is, like, honestly, I think 40 is too much. If you can hit 30 reps on something, find something more difficult to do, right? And if you feel like you're, you're surviving, you know, 25 to 30 sets, that means you're not working hard enough, right? So, Honestly, more like in the ballpark of like 15 to 20 sets and doing them at a much higher intensity and lower rep range is probably going to be more helpful for you. And, you know, so like just let's be smart about this. And the thing is, that if you can move something for 30 reps, you can move it fast. So you can still do your explosive work with that. Because uh, let's face it, Olympic lifting is extremely explosive and they're moving heavier weights than you're lifting almost certainly. So, um, Absolutely, you can work your athletic components and all of that well within these ranges. You do not need to be chasing after thousands, you know, thousand rep sets or anything like that. That's insane. That's asinine. Don't do it. All right, I'm done and I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do all the other social media stuff. You can check out our other socials as well as take a look at some of the merchandise that we have for offer in the links below. And if you happen to be in the Phoenix metro area, stop in, come in for a class, come in just to say hi. Uh, we'd love to meet you. Until next time, good journey.